As a standalone conversion, upgrading your ABM machine to the new low maintenance squaring wheel assembly eliminates several expensive components and minimizes the overall number of moving parts, allowing you to run at 400 cans per minute without excessive wear. A squaring wheel is used to square the two edges of the rounded body and feed it between the weld rolls. Design simplicity is the key to the squaring wheel's advantages over the previous method called the push-pawl assembly. This assembly required a complex set of moving parts working in a reciprocal back and forth motion with speeds limited to 300 cans per minute before maintenance became overwhelming. The heart of the conversion is the squaring wheel gearbox. A set of elliptical gears creates a smooth rotary motion which accelerates the squaring wheel every half rotation to pick up the rounded body and feed it to the weld rolls during deceleration. Once the squaring wheel with its rotary gearbox is installed, the squaring assembly is no longer the bottleneck of the machine's mechanical capability. A second advantage of the squaring wheel gearbox is direct drive from the transport chain, which is achieved by means of a timing belt. This eliminates the Ferguson gearbox and Ferguson gearbox clutch, two more items which required maintenance and had a constant potential for failure. With direct drive, machine timing failures due to backlash are virtually eliminated. Timing used to be set back in the feed area using a hammer to loosen up a taper-locked hand wheel. With the squaring wheel's rotary gearbox, timing is set more accurately using a timing pulley and locking collar and by one operator who's now positioned at the squaring wheel assembly in full view of the timing being set. Even as a standalone upgrade, the squaring wheel assembly offers significant advantages in performance. Reliability through a simplified design. Mechanical speeds of up to 400 cans per minute. A direct drive which eliminates many complex moving parts. More accurate timing requiring only one operator. 